hands on with Vectornator, an awesome illustration app for iPad and iPhone users. If you're at all into digital illustration, then you owe it to yourself to check out Vectornator for iOS. You have tons of tools in your toolbar, you have an action bar up top, and you have your inspector bar with your full inspector there. And the app, as you can see, has received a big UI and UX update for the better. Now let's briefly talk about some of the features that I like about Vectornator. Of course, you can go in and create tons of different shapes, triangles, rectangles, circles, uh, stars, whatever the case may be. You can change the corner radius there and you can also change the corner radius right from the inspector using that handy slider. And folks, that really is just the very tip of the iceberg. Let's go ahead and show you some other really cool new features, such as the ability to change anchor points right from the inspector without having to rely on gestures. So that is really cool. That'll save you some time. It makes a nice new addition to Vectornator. And once you've completed your beautiful masterpiece, what to do next? Well, you can export directly to the Files app, send to Illustrator, send to Creative Cloud. There's also many different image types you can export to and more as you can see right here. But what about import? Because that of course is important too. And as you can see, lots of different import options, standard screen and print options. You have import from Cloud, Creative Cloud, Photos app, camera, etc. So lots of different import options there. Now let's talk about color. Obviously you can choose a color quickly by using the eyedropper tool, placing that over whatever desired path you choose. You can also go into the inspector and as you can see, there is no shortage of ways to manipulate and choose the colors of your liking. So folks have at it. And you'll find blend modes within the inspector as well. So you can choose normal, darken, multiply, lighten, screen overlay, difference, exclusion, hue, saturation, etc. And Perhaps my favorite thing about vector illustration, Boolean operations. I love being able to make custom shapes by adding or subtracting other shapes like that. So I just added a shape to a shape to create a new shape. And I could subtract this shape to create a new shape. And I can combine multiple shapes that I've custom created to create even more shapes. So this is just a wonderful thing about vector illustration. It's my favorite thing. And as you can see, Vectornator through its intuitive UI makes it super easy to go in here, even if you're a novice, to start creating custom shapes using Boolean operations. But what if you wanna take advantage of color blending? Well, they've thought of that too. If you go into the effects section of the inspector, you can blend horizontally, vertically, or blend back to front. And what if you have multiple shapes that you wanna to group together? Well, open the inspector, go to the arrange tab, select your items, and then tap the group button, and you can ungroup just like that. You can also change the blur properties of a selected item simply by dragging on the blur slider like this. It couldn't be easier. And iPad Pro users will especially like the fact that there are keyboard shortcuts. You can use just like the arrow keys to zoom in and zoom out. That is so nice to have. And these same shortcuts allow you to quickly switch between available tools with the press of a button. But don't worry, gesture shortcuts are still a big part of Vectornator. For instance, a two finger tap will perform an undo and a three finger tap performs a redo. And now machine learning comes into play with the Vectornator. Watch what happens when I drop this flower right here on the canvas. You see that? I didn't rename the layer. It automatically named it based on what was there thanks to machine learning. And all these features folks from beginning to end are available right here on the iPhone. Yes, all your features. Obviously the UI has been manipulated to work with the iPhone's smaller display but you get all the same features from the iPad version right there on your iPhone. And frankly, that's awesome. Now creating stacks isn't new in Vectornator, but what is new is the ability to place a stack within a stack. So yes, a folder within a folder, just like this, two levels deep, that's gonna be great for organization. So ladies and gentlemen, Vectornator is available right now and it's free. Folks, hit the link down below to go to the App Store and download it now. Special thanks to Vectornator for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube.